40 Gamers Forever. And uh, pretty much back with another Madden 2018 video, right? Like I say, we, we, we're we working on a fix for this game. And um, so far, so good. Right now, what I want to show y'all is that the, ta the tackles have been fixed, right? The tackle animations. Two types of tackling systems that's embedded into this game in the Frostbite engine, right? The first thing, I was just going to look at this real fast. Look at how their feet is actually in the grass. You know what I mean? It's called foot plant, foot plant based foot plant technology, <laughs> right? But um, but for us the tackling systems, you got an animation based tackling system, then you got a physics based tackling system. Okay, when you apply the settings patch that we actually sorry, that we actually applied to the game over here at Gamers Forever Studios, then it's all based on physics. They, they use animations to make the play look pretty, but it's, based, it's a physics-based tackling system. So here we go with Daz Bryant. He's going to run a street, right? Straight out street route. Let's run the set speed so that you guys can see it first. Let's see what happens. All right, so he caught the ball, ran at that speed, and let's see what happens. So he's going out. Now everything is playing its part. Like as far as rating systems, the speed of the players, accuracy of the quarterback, everything's playing its part. There's Brian, naturally goes up higher, faster, harder than this, this dude, right? Now, when he catches this ball, nine times out of ten at this point, Madden uses what they call an animation-based tackling system, which means that once Des Bryant get the ball in his hand, it turns into an animation tackle. So the cornerback normally would just ramp him up, tackle him on the ground. But because this is based on physics, because when you apply the settings, it, it turns into a physics-based tackling system, natural laws of gravity say that Des Bryant is high in the air. He has to come down, and this guy is stretched up trying to also reach the ball as well. So they are both stretched out to the maximum capacity. So naturally, in, <laughs> in real life, when they hit the ground, they're not going to be in a position to make a clean tackle. But Des Bryant lands first. He lands on his feet, which gives him the opportunity to catch his balance a little bit put his other feet down, and using his arm as a shield, which means that this uh, defender can't wrap him up properly. So with that being said, he is able to move out the way, take him by his helmet, and push him to the ground. See that? And then this other defender, because Des Bryant is now off balance, can come over easily and make the tackle, also based on physics and not an animation-based tackling system. You see what I'm saying? So... But when you apply the patch to this game, these types of things happen 100% of the time. And then you'll never see them just going into frivolous tackle animations just to make plays or do things that the game wants you to do versus what it's supposed to do.